Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, today I'm doing this video from the comfort of my home office. As you may have guessed it from the title of this video, I have purchased a new Ryrock Atlas 2.0 helmet and their Atlas 2.0 Shockwave uh, Bluetooth audio system. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing and the install of the Bluetooth system. So this week for the Memorial Day, Ryrock has been running a uh, discounted rates on their helmets, particularly on their uh, Atlas 2.0 and some of the accessories and that's the main reason I picked one up. I always really liked their helmets, uh, the design, the aesthetics. I also like the fact that they are made out of carbon fiber which makes them super light. And lastly of course their uh, Atlas uh, Bluetooth system that is completely integrated into the helmet. So without wasting too much time let's do a quick unboxing and let's take a look what kind of helmet I got. Alright, uh, let's do a quick unboxing to see what the guys at Ryrock sent me. Alright, here's the helmet in its own uh, dust bag. Alright, another cool thing that they do is they send you a second visor so the helmet should have a clear visor and there should be a smoked visor. Some stickers and their uh, shockwave Bluetooth system. All right, let's, let's take this out, out of the bag. A great reveal. All right, so I bought it in camel green. The reason I bought this color is uh, pretty obvious. My uh, Heritage Classic is uh, green, and so is this helmet. So it's a pretty decent match, even though this is a flat paint rather than uh, glossy. All right, let's take a look at a uh, few features that this has. Nice locking mechanism to keep the uh, device nice and shut when you're going quick. That's first stop, second stop, and the third stop. Um, I know I've, I've read some reviews and I've watched some videos on YouTube and some people have been complaining that uh, the first stop uh, is pretty high. It's basically pretty much an open helmet at this point. Some, some like to ride with a little bit of crack here. Uh, which you kind of can still do if you don't lock it completely to get a little bit of uh, air going when you uh, not going super fast. Um, I you know it's not a it's not a big issue for me. One thing I forgot to mention, I also did get the uh, pin lock to keep my uh, visors from fogging up. Even though they do say that um, you know, right on the visor that it is anti-fog. I know they don't really work as well as they should, but I know for a fact that pin lock works very well because I do use it on my Arai helmet. So let's take a look quickly um, what other features that this helmet has. One of the things I really liked when I was uh, doing research on it is, the, is their uh, pull strap. It's basically like a magnetic uh, clip that keeps uh, the strap in place so you don't have to fiddle with it, uh, putting it on and off. Uh, this this is definitely a pretty pretty cool little um, feature and makes the helmet uh, putting on and off super quick. Alright guys, uh, the pin lock is installed. Um, again, like I said, make sure the, the rubber gasket piece goes against the visor and only remove the yellow film after the pin lock is installed. Now let's go ahead and put the uh, ant caps back on and put it back on the helmet. Alright. This should snap right back in. There's one. That's the second piece. All right. Let's get the helmet. All right, so. Again, the reinstallation of this also should be pretty straightforward. Snaps in. Take care. Clip. 
twist. Also, uh, do pay attention uh, to this little logo. There is a left and a right side, so when you twist it in, obviously you don't want your logo to be upside down. Flip it to the other side. Here you go. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Less than 60 seconds. Looks a lot better with a smoked uh, visor than the clear one. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, install the, uh, the Bluetooth unit. All we need to do here is unscrew these two screws, pull this out, and uh, go from there. All right, let's take a look at what we got in the box for the shockwave. All right. So we have a little screwdriver, the USB uh, cable for charging, speakers, and already attached uh, microphone. Get this thing untangled. All right. So the Velcro is already attached to your microphone. And the unit itself. Okay. So there's two ports here. This one for uh, the headphones and the mic. And this is... Uh, I'm assuming this is for the antenna. All right, the screws are out. Uh, the little plate is out. And you will notice that there is this little um, plug that will go right in here. As I mentioned, it's... Uh, Looks like an antenna. Now, what we need to do is we have to remove the cheek pads to get uh, to the speakers. And the liner has to go out of the way so we can uh, route the uh, microphone. All right guys, the cheek pads are out and the liner's out of the way. Um, I want to quickly show you the inside location of the mic. So if you look here, it is very uh, easy to, to notice exact mounting point for your mic um, on, on the right side. Okay. Uh, also, where the headphones will go, there is already vel Velcro uh, in place, so you don't have to do anything. It literally is just to stick on and route your wires uh, and put the liner back on, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, another quick note uh, to run this plug uh, from the headphones, there's a little hole here in the back, so just kind of sneak sneak it in through there. All right. And then and just run it to the top. Okay, and let's get these two plugged in into the Bluetooth unit. Okay. Now as you're putting this in, uh, 
be careful not to have any snags of these wires so just kind of line them uh, nicely and uh, pay attention so it doesn't snag another thing to point out uh, there are two little uh, tabs here so they have to snap in place um, to keep it nice and snug before you start uh, putting the screws back in. Now that the unit is installed and uh, uh, speakers are installed and the microphone's in, uh, let's reinstall the cheek pads and put everything back together. Alright guys, so everything's installed, the smoked visor, this pin lock, and a, uh, a Bluetooth shockwave. So let's get this thing uh, paired to my phone and see what it sounds like. So according to instructions, uh, the pairing should be straightforward. For the first time it'll go into pairing mode on its own. Uh, we press this button and hold for three seconds. And now it's in uh, pairing mode. Go ahead and turn the Bluetooth on my phone. All right, I see where I got the shockwave audio. And there you go, all paired. Let me see if I can uh, play something really quickly. There you go. It works. All right, guys. The moment of truth. Um, let's get this thing uh, put on and see what it feels like. This thing definitely feels like a glove. Uh, feels fantastic. Um, I definitely can tell the, the weight difference between my uh, Arai helmet. So. A lot, of, a lot of people have been complaining that it's pretty hard to unlatch this thing, but it's fully latched now. Super easy, no issues. As you saw, the, uh, the latching mechanism here. I mean, it's this simple. It's undone now and it's now latched. So this is super helpful. You don't have to fiddle around with it. You can even use your gloves to take this thing off. All right, uh, let's see if uh, pin lock working. Great, no fogging up. All right. So, just to give you an idea what it looks like from the front and a profile. Alright guys, and uh, the last thing I just wanted to do quickly do is to show you, uh, well, <laughs> I can't really show you, but I can tell you the weight difference between my uh, RI Regen X versus um, the Ryrock. Uh, I mean, I can definitely tell the weight difference. Regent is not a super heavy uh, helmet to begin with. It's only about three and a half pounds or so, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, but I can definitely tell there's probably at least a, a half a pound difference in the Regent. So it, it, it may not sound like much, but when you go on long rides, uh, your neck uh, will feel it. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so that was a quick overview, not really a review of a Ryrock Atlas 2.0 and the Shockwave Bluetooth system install. 
I uh, can't wait to wear this thing. Uh, see what it feels like on the road. Um, I'll, I'll I'll give you an update on you know as far as the noise goes and how it feels uh, riding and as well as the quality of the Bluetooth. Uh, it's not a com. Just so you guys know, it's it is uh, just a Bluetooth system, so you can listen to your audio, your GPS. You can make phone calls. Uh, but you know. I already have comms with my other helmet, so if I'm going to be riding with, it, with anybody else that have comms, I can wear my other helmet. So thanks for stopping by. Hopefully this video was useful for some of you. If you liked the video, don't forget, uh, forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.